Hey, are you on Facebook? Or are you using Facebook group to grow your business? Or better yet, do you even have a Facebook group? Do you know how to utilize a Facebook group to grow your business, to brand yourself? Most of the network marketer or affiliate marketer use the Facebook group entirely wrong. You know those home business group that you go into and this business opportunity post every minute of the day? Eventually those group will actually turn into white noise and this is exact reason why I started creating my own group to brand myself. You probably ask, why do I want to start my own group when there's group out there that I could just join in? Here's the deal. When you have your own group, you have control over the content. You have control over the members. You have control over what is and isn't allowed to post in the group. For example, in my groups, business opportunity is not allowed to post. Hey, my name is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. In this video, I'm actually going to share with you how you could actually utilize Facebook groups to start branding yourself and start gaining more customer, more sales, and long-lasting team member for your business. So let's get down to it. So let's talk about starting your own Facebook group. This group should be branded to you. You're the most important part of this group. People join this group because they want to see your valuable content. Doesn't matter what group that is. It should be branded to you and your niche. For example, if you're in health and wellness industry and you want to make the group to, to promote your health and wellness business, then you want to consistently share valuable contents that help your target audience to reach their health and wellness goal so that they could start seeing you as an expert. If you are a network marketer and you want to sponsor more networkers, more teammates in your team, then your group should be specifically for to help them to grow their business by providing tips and tricks and training and article on how they could grow the business because they will start seeing you as a leader. People like to join leaders. And once they start seeing you as a leader and expert, you have a loyal follower. The goal of the groups is to create a loyal followers, loyal audience to your business. All right, in order to be successful to have a Facebook group, here's a few things that you want to follow. Number one, tribute community. People want to feel like they belong somewhere and it's value. Creating in a Facebook group is developing an online community. Content, these groups, if you active daily in them, it could actually create a similar effect as your second email list. Not everyone will open our email or see them, but there are some people, they will see everything on Facebook. Let's face it, some of us are secret Facebook addicted. Posting video or long last post like um, a blog post could really create some engagement inside the group. And also Facebook favorite video posts more than any other kind of post. Driving traffic. You must drive traffic to your group every single day. If you develop fans in your community by serving them with different types of a group posts, you're going to have highly engaged followers that will go to wherever you want them to go to, where, what, to see whatever you want them to see through a post. You want to start leads with value and helping people. And people start, start wondering, why are you the person that you are? And why are you doing that? And most importantly, why are they not working with people like you? Let's talk about what type of posts you should put into your Facebook group. In order for you to start creating the fan, creating the followers and getting more people into your group and getting highly engaged audience, you must create some valuable contents. So here, I'm going to share with you some different type of posts that you could actually post in your, your group so that you could start getting more follower and getting more loyal audience. Number one, welcome post. It is natural that when people come into your house, you welcome them to your house, right? So the same thing, treat your Facebook group as your house. So when you have new member come in, give them a warm welcome, welcome to the post. That not only make the person who feel welcome, the new member come in feel welcome, but the existing members start feeling as, you know what, this is a great community. There's more people coming in. So be sure to do welcome post. Number two type of post would be question. Posting a question could create engagement. Start having that discussion. So you can start seeing where everybody mindset is, or maybe they have question. That not only create engagement and create a conversation uh, among the group, but also 
you could see where the struggle is and it helps you to create further content to support those people who are struggle in certain areas. Number three, create content. These are the valuable content. It could be a video, a video showing them how to grow their business, a video on a mindset or a blog post on strategy, tips and tricks or a tutorial video. These are the kind of contents that your audience are looking for. If you could provide those contents for them and they will stay with you because they will be looking forward to it more and more coming from you. Number four, product. Now, I'm only going to promote product that I personally use or I know the person who produced the contents or the product, I would only endorse for those people. So it could be as easy as, the, you know, a ring light that you for for video or a microphone for people who do the podcast or a training course that you talk that you actually really think that it helps your audience and that I would promote inside a group number five webinar now you could share webinar if you don't do webinar yourself you could share webinar that you actually found from somewhere or if you're affiliated with some company that they are providing webinar but it's a big no-no to actually share webin your business opportunity webinar inside the group. Remember, these are the people from all walks of life. So if you, if you share your business opportunity webinar, it feel as you trying to force your business opportunity on them. Number six, uh, pictures. So lifestyle pictures. Because this is a way to, to share with people, be real, to let people into your world. Share lifestyle picture, share picture that um, you, you're, doing, you're doing things behind the scenes and all of that, right? And encourage people to also share their lifestyle picture as well. Number seven, testimonial. Got to share some success. A lot of people inside a the group, they're afraid to share their testimonial because they feel as, I don't know if this will sell... Uh, it will sound pitchy. When you're sharing testimonial, not only you're sharing an insight to let people know what you do, but also you are actually celebrating other people's success. So be sure to share some testimonial, video type, um, written post, it doesn't really matter. It could also be testimonial about a product that you promote, uh, a training course that you have done or training course that you actually um, uh, bought if you have a success story to share to build people up to give a hope to your audience that they could also achieve this as well number eight acknowledgement this is huge if you if someone inside the group get, uh, was rain convinced or if someone in the group made the sales whatsoever be sure to acknowledge their success because a lot of people quietly working on their work and they start getting all this result, they, are, they don't have someone to celebrate. If you are there to acknowledge them and celebrate them, even if they're not in the same company as you are, they feel appreciated. They start seeing you as the leader that they want to be around. So there you have it. This is how you actually should be using Facebook group and how you could actually use Facebook group to brand you so that you could get more leads and sales for your business. With that being said, guys, this is Candace from Create Freedom with Candace.com. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.